What is going on with Aaron Boom and the New York Yankees? They are currently sitting uh, fourth in their division at 47-44. They are, over the last 10 games, they are 6-4. and four. They won last night against the Sox. And let me be completely honest here, I am a Red Sox fan, so having this happen to the Yankees is very nice for me. I find it funny and entertaining, but hey, I will hold my biased opinion. So the Yankees... They're in a strange spot the past couple seasons. Uh, currently, they are, like I said, fourth in the division. They're eight games back and four and a half games back from the wild card spot. And they're in a bit of a pickle. And I mean that because in their division, they're one in seven versus the Sox. They're five and eight versus Tampa Bay. Three and six versus the Blue Jays. And they're winning against Baltimore with a record of six and four. So overall, they're 15 and 25 in their division. That's not good if they're a team that wants to make the playoffs or get the wild card. That's not a good spot to be in. And who are we gonna kind of blame that on? The Yankees lost to the Red Sox in 2018, uh, down 4-3, and got eliminated from the postseason after having a 100-win season. I believe the Sox also had a 100-game win, win season, uh, and the Sox actually went on to actually went on to win the World Series in that same year. So that's not going to sit well with the Yankees when they have all this all this talent and blah blah blah. In 2019, the Yankees lost to the Astros 4-2 after again having a 100-win season. So you went two seasons and lost with 100 wins and you look great and then all of a sudden you get to the postseason and poof. Finally, in the 2020 season, the Yankees lost in the divisional round against the Tampa Bay Rays 3-2. And... So, with that in mind, I think Aaron Boom deserves to be in the hot seat because of just being able, not being able to close the deal no matter how good the team is in the regular season. That's a huge issue. There's been, there begins the conversation of the huge payroll the Yankees have and if it's worth paying all this money if you can't get to the show. Now, the market sets all of these salaries, of course, and I know, you know, when you trade somebody and this and that, there's no real salary cap. But they have a lot of talent with their players. So when you have the money to pay for talent and you can't get to the World Series after uh, year after year, then you start to look at the coach for the solutions. Now, I think teams are just better than the Yankees and that happens in sports. But Boone is on the hot seat. We will see what happens if they don't make the playoffs, then I see him getting let go. If they get past the first round, then maybe they'll keep him. You can't keep losing in your division because when it matters how you do out it because it doesn't matter how you do outside of your division if you miss the playoffs if you can't get a wild card spot and that boils down to the coach the staff um, I I do think you pay a lot of money but I mean Yankees are notorious for that they have the highest payroll in baseball probably one of the highest payrolls in sports but the past three four years that doesn't seem to matter if you're going to pay for all this talent and they can't get to the world series and it's okay if you lose in the world series but you just can't get there when other teams are just better in your division so what do you look at do you look at the players do you look at the coach do you look at the organization as a whole what do you do let us know in the comment section below what you think about the yankees and whether or not paying for all these players is a good idea. And we'll see you guys next time.